Ooh, what's up, Internet? My name's David Webb. And I'm Aria Letters. We get nerdy nightly. And we thought we'd share with you. Keeping you on your toes. Yeah, you got me there. You got me good. I got you good. Mm -hmm. uh, Y'all, this is going to be the sizzle reel reaction for The Bad Batch. Ooh. And I'm really excited for this one because you've seen only like the first two episodes of Clone Wars. Yeah. And I've seen all of Clone Wars, Rebels, and Resistance, and every Star Wars thing they've ever made. Yep, so pretty much. So, the nice thing about you not having seen Clone Wars is I'm curious to see what your reaction is going to be to a trailer to the show yeah. with no kind of idea of what it is. Yeah, I mean, you, when, so they, when, when they first announced the Bad Batch, mm -hmm. you know, you kind of gave me a little bit of a rundown. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, cool, that sounds really dope. Like, I was like, I am, I am here for that. That sounds awesome. So, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm excited for this trailer. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm glad we have the two perspectives. Yeah, absolutely. It's almost like we're an odd couple. That's not a joke that's ever been told before. Put your headphones in. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> they call themselves the Bad Batch. The Bad Batch. D. Bradley Baker, you are a talented human. Yeah. Do, do, All these Investor Day things, great music. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a light whip. Is that Jetta? Oh, dope. The Republic will be reorganized into the first oh, cool. Empire. The animation is so good. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. That was quite an impressive display. <gasps> Tarkin! I just want to try and go back on something really quick and see if I can find it. Mm -hmm. um, I think we saw Ming-Na Wen's character. You think so? You can slow it down if you want. I think, yeah, I think that's Fennec Shand from Mandalorian. Oh. I think we're seeing, that is so, that, oh my god. That is so cool. Dave Filoni is... I, th I'm, I'm, I, I, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty convinced that that is Fennec Shand. I can Because it's the see same it. visor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can see that. That is so cool. <laughs> I'm what? such a nerd. No, 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 but here's the thing. Like, that shot wouldn't be in the trailer if it wasn't for somebody who would recognize it. You know what I mean? I know. So... It's so, it's so cool... Okay, before I say anything, what do you think about the, the trailer? As someone who hasn't, like, if you saw this and hadn't seen Clone Wars, is this the kind of trailer that would entice you to watch it? To entice me to watch Clone Wars? No, no, no to watch to watch this show. Would the you be like, oh, I would tr give this a shot? Um, not gonna lie, I don't think that was Disney's best trailer. I, um, right. <clears throat> have no idea what was going on. Mm, mm-hmm. Like, like, truly and honestly, um nobody was introduced there were certain familiar faces mm -hmm. but all I like like if I was watching this trailer I would say okay this is a show about the transitionary period f f into becoming the empire that we know from like um four five and six and that I mean that you nailed problem. it though you got you got it that is exactly what the show's about. Yeah, but like... <laughs> like, like, I don't think this trailer showed me what the show's about, but then No, you're... I mean, I mean, like, uh, sorry, I guess I mean who it's about. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that, that, That's what I mean. It didn't give sorry. you, it didn't, like, give you any characters. No, yeah, I have, I have a bit of, a, like, a story premise, mm -hmm. 
but I don't know. Ex- I don't know what the conflict is. I don't know who these characters are without having watched Clone Wars. See, that's the that that's that's where I thought this was gonna go. Was yeah. like because I know who the Bad Batch are because of the four episodes of the final season of Clone Wars that they are kind of the stars of. I'm so excited to see their story continue. Obviously, seeing Tarkin was a huge, huge, huge thing for me. Yeah. Uh, one of you know just one of my favorite Star Wars characters, um, and. Uh, the, the way that the they introduced him at the end of the trailer was really nice. This shot of Fennec Shand that I pulled up, um, the, the, I'm excited for the connections as someone who watches all of this stuff and who, yeah. like, lives for literally, I mean, like, I mean, it's, it's weird to say, but, like, Star Wars is the, my favorite thing, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I'm so excited by this trailer and by things like seeing maybe that's Jedha, you know, maybe that's Coruscant. Getting to finally see Coruscant, this this will be the first thing to show us Coruscant after the rise of the empire right in live action and like what um, happens because the catalyst book goes to coruscant but rogue one the movie never goes to coruscant we never actually get to see it so mm-hmm. this will be the first um not live action but the first show or movie that shows us coruscant yeah and i'm really excited to see how things change on that planet with the fall of the jedi mm-hmm. what uh the police on that planet is like in the first days of the empire yeah um it, th- there's so much potential for the show to be um, a light on a section of the the world that we've never really gotten to see in Star Wars, totally. it, outside of Solo, maybe. Um, mm-hmm. But even that, like that's the the Empire is fully in control by Solo. Yeah. Um, yeah. I also think it's really interesting that we're going to see the Bad Batch be working for the Empire, and I wonder. At, I I know they're not going to be for the whole show because Star Wars loves to have people work for the Empire and then eventually uh, lose uh, their taste for it. Shall we say? Yeah. So I'm wondering sure. what will be the reason that the Bad Batch break with the Empire and do their own thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have a feeling that'll be the conflict of the show is at what point each member of the Bad Batch realizes that they know what, what they're a part of and what they don't want to be a part of anymore. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was, a, that was an interesting sizzle reel for me as someone who has seen the shows, but maybe less so for you as someone who hasn't. I mean, it was, it, it looked cool, but yeah, yeah. it was, um, The animation's like, gorgeous. Oh, it is. It yeah. is, for sure. But, like, if I'm comparing, like... if I, So, if I were to compare the WandaVision trailer to this trailer, like, WandaVision, I legit, like, felt emotional about. Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, oh, I see what this is and who these characters are, and I feel for them as people. And that, like, without having seen Clone Wars, that trailer gave me no... Okay, but it's, WandaVision is live action. Compare this to the What If trailer that we watched 20 minutes ago. It's the same thing with that. Like I know, you feel like there was more character in the. Well, yeah, they, there was. I, I'll agree with you on that. I think that I think the What If trailer was better. I I am just so in the bag for these animated shows. Yeah. That no matter what they do, I, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. I, I'm yeah. not disagreeing with you. I'm not saying it's a bad trailer. It's just for somebody who, um, like, if I were to watch that and I, I didn't really know where it came from, like, I just they wouldn't pull me in. It would not entice me to be like, oh, cool, that's a new thing. Let me check that out. All right. Yeah. Well, on that note, I loved it. You're okay on it. I, like I said. She's going to watch Clone Wars. I pro- I, yeah. I'm working on it. We're going to watch Clone Wars. She's going to have seen it, and then she'll change her tune. Robbie, don't worry. I know you're concerned. Um, <laughs> as we say at the end of all these videos, we are both Twitch streamers. Yeah. Uh, and we have a morning show, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern, twitch.tv slash nerdy nightly. We do the nerd news. It's a fun nightly morning show. Yeah. You can catch that, twitch.tv slash nerdy nightly. I also stream games there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday mm-hmm. nights. Uh afternoon nights you can yes. check the schedule in the discord instagram or twitter and you stream over at claris dracaris claris no it's claris dracaris uh i stream a lot of skyrim mm-hmm. um and then i co-host the nightly morning show on the nerdy nightly channel you can find all that info in the description down below uh and if you like this video want to check out more like it like subscribe to the channel ring the notification bell so you get that little hey they posted and we will see you next time as we always say My name's David Webb. I'm Marielle Edwards. Do something nerdy tonight. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.